Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings, and guess what? It's time already to release clue number four of Ose oh Can You So 2, which is released in 2024. If you do not have any of these clues, you can download the clues on our website at primitivegatherings.us, and there are three clues previous to this, and then there will be one more after. So five clues for $5 each, and then you can also go visit our Stitch with Lisa Bon Jean YouTube channel. Look for the playlist for Oh Say Can You Sew Too and view all of the other videos that I have done previously to this one. Now, remember that they all release on the first and I use American Gatherings 2 fabric line for this. It is a tower and then eight yards of a solid that goes with the tower. And I use 9900182, which is porcelain from Moda Bella. So let's get ready to go on to clue number four. You will go to our website and download this pattern for $5 on our website, primitivegatherings.us. All right, so this clue has two different sections in it, and it tells you all what to gather. So you are going to gather some of your flying geese from clue number one, and then it has you gather some of these squares and some smaller squares. So guess what we're going to make? We are going to make a simple eight-pointed star here for the first half of the clue. So I will just sew this together now into a nine patch. Now some of the things that we may not have talked about previously is make sure that you start your fabrics. I use a single hole throat plate in my machine, especially with these smaller pieces so they don't get sucked down into that hole. I love to use Aurifil thread. It's my favorite. And then make sure you're sewing with some sort of guide or quarter inch foot so you're consistent. I like to piece everything and then go to the iron when I have everything sewn and I can't stitch anymore. Then I go to my iron. All right, so I'm gonna make this easy. I'm gonna press these toward that center square and then I'm gonna press these away from the center so they will nest nice. All right, so these are going away. And these are going to the center. We're getting down there. Things are gonna start to look familiar now. Like you might be able to solve the clues and the mystery of the whole thing. But I don't think you will. Still lots of parts to go. All right, two quick little pins in there, nesting those seams. It's raining, pouring right now. And we can hear that on the roof. Can you, I hope you can hear it, because good time for a nap now. <laughs> All right, now, most of the time when I sew the last rows in a block, I will press these seams open. So I just kind of give them a quick little pre-press that helps me get the iron started. All right, so the first part of clue number four is done. We have two parts, but you see how I have a little bit of those 
threads hanging out, I like to trim those off. All right, so this should measure four and a half at this point. Looks good. All right, so there's part one. Then on the second part, we are gonna do another flying geese from clue number one. And then we have some of these guys left over, I believe we're not cutting these. These are left over from previous cutting. And then we need a same type of rectangle that matches the background of this. Now you're gonna make four of these units, but I'm only gonna make one because you don't need to sit here and watch me make four total. So just know that the second part, you're gonna need four of each one of these. So I'm gonna lay the flying geese out with this rectangle. So I'm gonna stitch those two together. And remember, it has to match your um, other star block. So these are gonna to go together into sets. So four of these are gonna go onto this guy here eventually. So you need them to match all you need to know in the instructions. So these two are gonna to go together first. All right, pop this seam open. And then we are going to add the two patches. So just because I pressed a bunch of them open, I'm gonna to continue to press open. All right, so for clue four, all you're doing is making this guy and making four sets of these. And something tells me this might be happening here all the way around. All right, so that's it for clue four. Four, make sure you join us for Clue 5.